Hey y'all, it's Nesha here and welcome to today's video. It's been a hot little minute since I have given y'all a fashion haul and today we are going to be talking about Abercrombie because their sale is coming up. In fact, I think their sale goes live today. I'm not exactly sure about all the details of the sale. I just know the girlies on TikTok was like the Abercrombie sale is starting on November 20th, which is today. So I had to go ahead and share some of my favorite pieces from Abercrombie that I think y'all need to go ahead and pick up during the sale. Again, as of today, the day that I'm filming this, I don't have the exact details of the sale, but I will have them down below in the description box. So make sure you check the description box out and I'll have all the pieces that I'm sharing with you all linked as well. Y'all, Abercrombie has just been that girl, okay? Abercrombie is not the brand that we grew up with. I remember circa like 2005, you know, the early 2000s. Abercrombie was the only thing that the preppy kids were wearing back when I was in middle school and high school. But that it's not the same Abercrombie as the early 2000s, okay? They decided to grow up with their previous audience and just grow up with them. So the people that were wearing Abercrombie back in the early 2000s are now in their 30s, like myself. And I feel like their brand has just transitioned with the audience. And so it's a very like grown adult clothes, uh, perfect for a mid, am I mid, whoa. I was about to say I was mid 30s. I'm only 31. But someone who's in their 30s can really appreciate um, the styles and the fashion. And even 20 year olds, like the girlies on TikTok, like I said, they be all on Abercrombie. And I just can really appreciate how the brain has grown with this audience. Before we get into this video and this try on haul, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week so if you're subscribed you don't hit that notification bell then you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead and get into this haul so I know Abercrombie is known for their jeans but I didn't get any jeans from them this is all dresses tops and skirts slash skorts skorts have been very trendy very popular in 2023 so I got all those pieces for you that I'm going to share with you but first we're going to get into dresses the first dress I want to talk about is this beautiful sweater knit cream dress this is available or was available this one was actually selling out pretty fast but this um was available in three colors uh, black and also this beautiful like cinnamon brown. I was between the cinnamon brown orangey color and the cream and I decided to go with the cream. It has I like this wrap effect which is really flattering. It kind of helps hide a little bit of a tummy. It also has this um, string that you can tie either on the side or up in the front. It has the split. Y'all won't, I can't, the dress is so long, I can't even show y'all, but in the trial on portion, y'all see that it has a split. I got mine in a size medium tall. It does come in different lengths because the dress is so long. Um, you know, if they just kept it one size or one length, then it might be too long for people who are more petite. So it does come in multiple lengths. I got mine in tall, not necessarily because I wanted to. I am 5'7", so I kind of, I'm above average, but I got the tall because the regular medium was sold out, so I had only the option of getting the tall. Um, <laughs> so that's how I got the tall, but I find that the split hits perfect, uh, the little side split with the tall, so I'm not mad at it and it just hugs your curves. I'm someone, I have a booty, but I don't have a lot of hips, but it hugs my body and gives me some hips. I absolutely love this, and it's nice and stretchy too. If you're in between sizes, I would say to size down. So sometimes I can be in between medium and larges, and I got a medium, and I got a lot of stretch in this dress, but I absolutely love this, and I hope that it's available. I'm going to link it down below, of course, um, but Abercrombie needs to go ahead and restock this dress, if it is. The next dress that I picked up is a blazer dress, and this has also been kind of like a trendy item. And so I picked up this black blazer dress. I know it's kind of hard to see it now, but it basically just looks like your typical black blazer, 
but it's a little bit longer and becomes a dress. And there's buttons right here that you can button and it'll secure. I will say that this is a very deep V um, to the point where I don't feel comfortable not wearing anything under this and just having my little boobies out. That's not me. I plan on um, putting like a lace bralette, like a black lace bralette under it so that I'm still covered, but still, you know, kind of cute and sexy. I was in between sizes. So I picked this one up in a medium. The upper body, like the arms and like the sides, it fits perfectly. My hips and my butt, which I, again, I don't have huge hips so I'm actually surprised that it doesn't fit but it's very tight in the bottom half which I don't like but again this is another item that was selling out pretty fast I tried getting a large but at the time I purchased this the large was sold out so I got the medium in this and then it does have this little belt tie situation that you can help to cinch in your waist. I have seen some girlies um, just put like a thicker belt, a belt that does cinch in their waist a little bit more on top of this belt and that's been a really cute look as well. So I love this dress so much that I did pick up the exact same dress in this beige color this one however i got in a size large the large was available i love the way the bottom fits i have like a little bit more room the buttons are completely hidden you can't see the buttons they're supposed to be hidden whereas in the black one because it's kind of tight and it's kind of pulling you can kind of see the invisible buttons um, but this one the bottom fits well, but I just have so much room up at the top and I loved both colors so much that I couldn't decide. I was like, okay, do I keep the medium and maybe move, get it tailored and move the buttons or do I keep the large and the beige and just get the top tailored and keep the bottom the way it is. So I couldn't decide and I love both of them. So I decided to keep both of them. I wish that I could take the top portion of the medium and pair it with the like bottom portion of the size large and just mesh those together and it'd be the perfect fit for me. But I think I am just gonna get both of them tailored. So this will kind of be more of a, I don't know, like a not as sexy, but you know, professional look because it is a little bit looser. And then when I'm like out in the town with my man and I need like a tighter fit, and also black is just just so grown and sexy. I can put this one on. So, you know, sometimes the size is all that matters. It's the same exact dress, two different colors, and I can get two different looks with it. Next up, I wanna talk about this taupe leather skirt, a midi skirt. So it's more on the modest, but it has a little bit of sexy because it does have this split right here. And the split isn't super high, so you don't see you know, your private areas or anything. The split is very tasteful. And I actually paired this with a old black Abercrombie bodysuit. So the bodysuit that I'm wearing with this is something that I got maybe like a year or two ago but you can pair it with any um, bodysuit I have a couple bodysuits including the one that I'm wearing now that I'm going to share with y'all in a little bit but I just freaking love 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 this leather skirt they had a black one but I don't know this like taupey color just spoke to me even though it's leather it's very stretchy like the waistband I don't know if y'all can tell me take it off the hanger but the waistband is like very stretchy usually with leather it can be a little bit stiff this is faux leather by the way I don't want y'all calling PETA on me um this is faux leather but usually leather or faux leather it can be a little stiff not have a lot of give but this dress definitely has some give in the waist and the leather is thick but not too thick like this leather will keep me warm but it won't make me sweat and then it's got like this nice lining on the inside very soft lining but I absolutely love this skirt and I love pairing the skirt with like um, knee high and just have like a little peekaboo moment for the boots with the split. I just love it. And if y'all couldn't tell, I'm obsessed with boots. I pretty much paired 
all of these outfits with boots. So I will also link um, the boots down below in the description box just in case you're interested in all the boots that I have tried on with each of these styles. Some of these boots won't be exact because I did get some of these boots like last year. So they might be sold out the specific style, but I'll try to link something down below that is similar. And I'll let y'all know if the boot that I linked is a similar boot to what I'm wearing or if it's the exact boot. Next, I wanna share a pair of pants with y'all. And I feel like the camera is not doing the color of these pants justice. It's definitely more of like a sage green. The, the lights is just throwing it off. It's coming off like super light, almost white, like very pale, but no, this is a nice sage green. Let's see if I can get the camera to pick up the color. So Abercrombie is known for their tailored Sloan pants. I think that's what it's called, that you can like wear to work, wear to church. It can like dress up an outfit. I actually have two pairs of those pants. Well, this isn't the Sloan pants. It's a similar type of pant with the design in the sense that it's ultra high-waisted and it's wide leg. The bottom of it cuffed, whereas the Sloan pant is not cuffed. And what really drew me to these pants is just the color. I just thought the sage green would just be perfect for all seasons. It'd be perfect for the winter. It'd be perfect for spring. It'd be perfect for summer. I could wear it with bodysuits. I could wear it with t-shirt. I can wear it with boots as I did in this video. I can wear it with sneakers. I can wear it with flats. And again, I can wear this anywhere. I can wear this, you know, just out to grab something to eat with my husband or with some friends, or I can wear these to the office. I do have to go into the office a couple of times a week. I did get these in the Curve Love, which y'all, if you got a little bit of booty or some hips, Curve Love, Curve Love is what you need when it comes to your pants and your jeans. But I did get this again in Curve Love and I got them long and I did size up. Normally I'm usually size 10, but I like for my dress pants or, you know, pants like these to be a little bit loose. So I did size up and got a size 12. It does have a bit of stretch, a bit of give in the waist, but y'all, I love these freaking pants, okay? And they're on clearance too. If y'all can grab these on clearance and on a Black Friday sale, I definitely suggest you grabbing them. And then they also had a beige, a beige pair as well. I went a bit squirt crazy, okay? I think I have, I have four squirts to share with y'all in different styles and different colors. So the first squirt I wanna share with you is this nice like beige tan colored military looking wrap skirt. I love Abercrombie skirts and the fact that even though there are shorts underneath like I'm showing y'all. Well, actually no, I think this is just a picture cuz I didn't actually try this on for the try on haul like in a video. I did shoot some content for my Instagram which if you don't follow me, make sure you're following me. And Jay Everhart, I'll have it linked down below. I took some pictures and posted on my Instagram in this skirt, in this skirt, excuse me. And that's the picture that y'all are seeing, but it does have um, a lightly lined shorts underneath. But the thing is, you know, typically when we think about skirts, you know, it's a dress or a skirt in the front, and then you can see the shorts in the back. But no, it's a full skirt all the way around and you just have the shorts underneath, which I love. Um, I love like the mil military look of this with like the pockets. It kind of gives like a cargo feel. It's casual, but also can be dressed up as um, how I wore it. I wore it again with another um, a black bodysuit from Abercrombie and I wore some ankle booties with it and fire, fire outfit. So simple, but looks like I tried really hard. And then I also love this belt to help kind of cinch you in. For these squirts, for whatever reason, I'm in between sizes. So it is a bit big around my waist, but I do like that this one does have like the belt to help cinch in my waist. But, you know, it still is a little bit loose, but when I get a medium, I can like 
clasp it and it'll fit around my waist but when I try to zip it up it does not fit around my thighs and so I had to size up on these and get a large I'm in between sizes just to help y'all out with sizing if you plan on picking these squirts up these next two squirts are very similar to the military style squirt that I just shared with you, but they're not military, but they still have like the wrap, por um, wrap part of it. So I picked this squirt up in two different like styles or different colors. So first I have this hunter green squirt. Y'all, this color is gorgeous. If you cannot tell, I'm like, I'm loving hunter green. Very comfortable because it does have the shorts underneath, but it is a full skirt all the way around. So skirt in the front and also skirt in the back. So you don't see the shorts unless you like actually pull up the skirt part. Um, I had the same sizing issue where medium didn't fit over my thighs, but it fit in the waist. And then the large is a little bit loose in the waist, but I rather be, or I rather it be more loose and be comfortable so like I can eat and all of that. I actually did wear this a few nights ago. I went to dinner with my husband to celebrate like our three year dating anniversary and just celebrate some other things that have been going on in our life and this skirt was a hit and I paired it with some knee-high boots and also a, another black bodysuit <laughs> and then they say if you like something just get in another color and that's what I did but not only is this a black skirt, it's also the leather skirt. so again shorts underneath a full skirt all the way around I love this. I just, you know, I love me some faux leather. I love leather. It just elevates the look for me, just makes it more like kind of like badass in my opinion. If you're in between sizes, I would say size up because if you got a little booty, if you got a little hips, it's probably not going to fit over them. <laughs> I decided to pair this leather skirt with this bodysuit that I'm wearing right now. Um, Abercrombie is calling this their soft matte bodysuit, long sleeve bodysuit. They have a square neck and then they also have this like round neck, but it's also higher. And I just love the material. It's very, very stretchy. I got this in a size medium. That's usually the size that I get my bodysuits in in Abercrombie because again, they're usually very stretchy. And even though they're stretchy, they're also like very compressive and suck you in, but they're not like too tight to where you can't breathe. But I just love like this. I don't know y'all, it's not like shiny. I don't know how to describe this. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. It's definitely different than like your normal cotton or normal kind of like spandexy type of bodysuit. This has a sheen to it and I, I just, I love it. It's so beautiful. And again, if I love something, I'll just get it in another color. <laughs> And that is what I did. I picked up this beautiful, like, it's burgundy, but it leans kind of pink and leans kind of mauve -y. But the color is called burgundy on the site. And again, just this beautiful soft matte fabric that has the sheen to it. It's very stretchy. It's very comfortable, but also compressive. And it's going to just suck you in. And it comes in a bunch of colors. I would love to get more colors. I don't need to though. There is like a chocolate brown that I'm like, I got my eyes on. And again, I told y'all that they also have this material of the same style shirt, the soft matte shirt in a square neck bodysuit. But then they also have them in just regular like shirts where it's not a bodysuit. So if you're not into bodysuits, and, but you want like a shirt that's long enough to tuck in. They do have this um, soft matte style of shirt and just like a regular shirt instead of a bodysuit. This color is just so beautiful and against like my, my melanated skin. And then I paired this with another squirt. So this one just looks like a mini skirt. This is the men's, men's wear mini skirt. I don't know why they call it menswear. It's definitely a woman's skirt, but that's what they're calling it. It literally is just a black mini skirt. It comes in multiple colors. I think there's like a navy, 
Um, there's a red one for the holidays, which is selling out pretty fast. There's tan. There's some other colors as well. This one I found out of all of the squirts that I picked up, this one is definitely the shortest. Um, so if you like mini or maybe you are more on the petite side and you do prefer something shorter because you just have shorter legs, the men's wear mini squirt is mini compared to the other ones. The other ones have a little bit of length. And again, I had the same issue, had a size up to a size large in order to be able to zip this and fit this around my thighs. But it does have some stretch as well in the waist. I just thought that this mini skirt Squirt with this um, top right here was just a beautiful combination with some ankle um, booties. Love that. All right, y'all. So that is it for my Abercrombie try on haul for Black Friday. Definitely don't miss out on this sale. Abercrombie's clothes ain't cheap. So when you can get like a good discount on it, definitely do so because these pieces are trendy but also classic pieces like pieces I see myself wearing for years and years to come and that's how all my Abercrombie clothes have been. I also forgot to mention that all of my measurements will be down below just in case you're struggling figuring out what sizes may work for you. I will leave my measurements down below as well as what size I did purchase in each of these pieces. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really does help me and I will bring some more hauls to you all because in addition to like hair and beauty, I also love fashion and especially fall fashion. I just, I don't know. I just love it. It's something about the jewel tones. It's something about the leather. It's something about the boots that just, it just gets me. So if you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, that will let me know that y'all like this type of content and I'll keep it coming. But as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.